Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to do my nails again and this is a builder in a bottle or a buy app tutorial. This is the old set I loved. I hate saying goodbye to this set. This is my new set. So stay around to watch me do this nail set from start to finish. First of all, I'm going to just go in and show you a little time lapse of me removing the old set. I'm going to take off the color and the bulk of the gel as I'm going to shorten them down quite a good bit. This is the Melody Susie e-file. I think it's called a Scarlet. I'm not too sure. It's quite old now, but works perfectly. And this is a five in one bit from Amazon. So I'm just going to take off the bulk and I'm also going to shorten the length of these nails. I love the almond shape, but I just wanted to take them down. So I decided to go for a full change and make them into little short square. Um, yeah, this is, these nails I think were on about three weeks, I think. I'm not too sure. I have a video of that nail set up as well. I think it was about three weeks. And then I'm just going to go in using the middle of this e-file bit and go straight across to take the length off the nail. Don't do this if you're not confident in doing it. It just takes a little bit of getting used to it. The trick is to keep it at a high speed. I have it at the speed that I was removing at, which is about 25,000 RPMs. And then just go from start to finish straight across and don't let go of the e-file. Don't get nervous halfway through and like move the e-file because that's when it will jump against you and kind of skip and give a little bit of a shock feeling. But yeah, I was actually kind of excited just to see like really short nails because I've had these long nails for a while. So I'm kind of excited to see little shorties on myself again. And these are my New Year's set. So I am hopefully going to have this video up on New Year's Eve. And this is my New Year's Eve set. So I'm just removing a lot of the bulk here as well. I'm going to take more bulk off because the length has gone down quite a bit. So they are going to be quite thick. So I'm just debulking it here and making sure that the bulk of the product is gone before I go in with my new layer of gel. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this e-file bit and instead of using a cuticle pusher, I'm going to use this bit to push back the epinicium and it's also removing the dead skin that has been stuck to the nail plate. So I'm starting off from right to left and then in a few minutes I'm going to switch over from left to right. But this is such an important part of doing your nails, whether you're doing a gel polish, acrylic, gel extensions, gel overlay, biab, whatever you are doing it's such an important part because this is just going to prep that new fresh nail for your enhancement and your nails look so much better if you spend a little bit of time doing this part i didn't actually spend that much time doing this today i was a little bit in a rush but yeah it's just so so important when i was doing this finger here i noticed that i had left an awful lot of bulk on that nail so i came i decided to come back in with my five in one bit this nail here I said I'd come back in with my five in one bit and get that bulk gone because it was just, I don't know how I missed that the first time around, but there was a big bit of bulk left there that shouldn't be there. So just removing that and then I'm going to grab my sand and bands and I'm going to go over that new regrowth with the sand and bands at 240 grit sand and band at 5000 RPMs and just gently going over the new nail growth. So just using a bit of acetone there on a lint-free wipe to clean up all the dust left over from that removal. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just show you one finger start to finish of the whole gel process. And then I'm going to show you all the nails of the nail art design. But first of all, I'm going to apply this acid-free primer from Glitter Bells. This is what I used the last time and those nails, like there was barely any lifting at all. And I'm just going to apply it to every finger here and I'm just making sure that I like scrub it into the nail plate but not I'm not I don't have a whole load of product either on the brush I think I have enough product I think I dipped my brush into the bottle twice and try not to let that flood either so no you don't want any product product to flood into your cuticles or your skin this is the base coat so I'm just going to go in with the glitter bells base coat here and the same thing just going to apply a nice thin layer not too thick and scrub it into the nail plate pushing it back as far as possible and over to the side walls as far as possible and then I'm going to cap the free edge and cure this for 60 seconds. Next up is the glitter bells this is cover pink and I'm just going to do a slip layer so this is 
a layer that you paint on and you don't cure this is basically like a thin layer just like you'd paint on your base coat not going to cure this layer at all i'm just making sure that it's getting to everywhere that the base coat was painted onto and then i'm going to go in with a bigger bead and i'm going to go up to the top of the nail I'm not putting too much product on this because these nails actually have a lot of gel left over on them so i don't need that much product so i'm just going to float this down from sidewall to sidewall and then i'm going to bring the gel where i want it to go with my detailer brush so this is what i always use just to kind of manipulate the gel wherever i want it to go and if you need to hold your nail up side down for a few seconds to let gravity do its work then that's also a great thing to do because it really helps the gel float to the apex area so these are all the five nails done and i'm going to go in with madame glam's tinsel and this is from their house of reflections collection which was their december collection this year and this is a holographic silver and it's so stunning i was so dying to use it over the festive season so i thought New Year's nails, full fingers, full of glitter is perfect. Silver glitter, what more could you want? So I'm going to do two coats of this and cure for 60 seconds in between in the lamp. I do also have a discount code for Madame Glam. So it's for 35% off. And I'll leave a link in the description box. This link will take you straight to the website, but the discount code will automatically be applied when you check out. So if you click on the pay as you go option, it'll give you the 35% off your order when you check out. So yeah, this this color is so, like two, two coats and it's perfect coverage. So I was so excited to use these glitters over Christmas. I used the blue, I used the red for my own Christmas nails and now this for the New Year's set. So as I'm painting on this second coat of tinsel, I just want to take the time to say Happy New Year to everyone and thank you so much to everyone who subscribes and watches and comments and likes these videos. It's been so much fun interacting with everyone and yeah, I just want to say I just appreciate everyone so much and I know there's been a lot of new subscribers lately and I just appreciate everyone so much. So thank you so, so much and roll on 2024. Now back to the design, so I'm going to go in with the Glitter Bells white gel paint and a dotting tool and just add in two dots there and then I'm going to go in with my liner brush and make some four point stars. So these are so easy to do, you just kind of need a little bit of a steady hand and you drag the, the paint out from the dot and it just makes that cute little four pointed star there and I wasn't happy with that one so I wiped it off and started again so yeah you just need a bit of a steady hand and i think i probably had a lot of coffee at this stage which is nothing new but yeah i didn't like that one at the top so i wiped it off but keep on you know playing with them i think until you have it exactly as you want it because that's the the beauty about these types of designs if you feel like you're you didn't add enough paint on say the middle dot there you if you haven't cured it you can always just go over it add a little bit more if you want to thicken it up a tiny bit and i'm going to do the same on the index finger here i'm going to do two dots and then i'm going to go in with my liner brush and pull out the four points from the middle so this is a really really easy design it's so ever so popular the whole time it's not going out of style at all but here they are. These are my finished nails and I'm so happy with them. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I appreciate it and please subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.